Let's face it, the technology behind modern video games is, well, incredible. The graphics packages are just about cinema quality, but for many, retro games of their youth will always play a, place, a special place in their hearts. Well, tonight in Bowling Green, one local store entertained gamers of all ages with an old-school Mario Brothers tournament. Producer Jason Ozenbaugh joins Mario and Luigi in the search for Princess Peach. So we did the 1UP X Super Mario Extreme Challenge. Uh, 16 players faced off tournament style in a number of different challenges that we created to add complexity to the game and make it more fun and interesting. Well, so the idea was is that we wanted to uh, give kids or people an opportunity to come out, compete, and have fun, but not doing what you know you normally see at these tournaments and you know the violence and the the, the death fighting murder stuff. So kind of torn, like how do I allow my kids to play games? How do I, do I limit their time? Do I limit the games that they play? Um, and I, I was just trying to explore what that looked like. So then as we met, we started talking, we came up with a concept for the tournament and actually bringing these retro games back with a competitive, you know, new competitive uh, edge to them, you know? And we tested the model with our own kids. They absolutely loved it. And so it's just kept, you know, it's evolved into this. And um, our goal is to launch into a much bigger event. Most video game tournaments these days are uh, like the newer games, the Xbox One games, Fortnite, uh, Rocket League, and we're sort of reaching back in time to what we grew up with, the retro games, the old Nintendo, the old Sega Genesis, and we kind of, we want to like, I guess, like reignite the flame and make people excited for them by taking these older games that are, that are more simple and, and adding that extra uh, layer of challenge to them. But, it, but it's challenges that you would never expect to, to see or happen. It's harder for someone like me when I get older to get into the newer games, but everybody can enjoy the retro games. And there is, there's a good mix. There was some kids here and older people, and uh, you know they, they faced off, and surprisingly some of the kids who didn't even grow up with these games came out on top. Having all the, the, the wide demographic of people, you know, you got older to, to, to the littlest kids, coming out and competing and playing and having fun and if you heard while the games are going on everybody's watching everybody's laughing and having a good time they're they're like in um, involved in the game and when someone dies oh you hear you know those sound effects and stuff so th that involvement and that interaction and engagement is what we are looking for and that's what excites me I started when I was probably about two or three with my grandma Ever since she started babysitting me, it was just game time with grandma and memories just ensued after that. It was cool seeing, you know, people of all ages come together, play games, just bringing people together like it's supposed to. Are you going to guarantee a win next time? That I can't guarantee. <laughs>